All right, pirates and internet visitors. Today we're going to be talking about molar mass. Okay, obviously it has something to do with mass, something to do with moles. You've already learned about moles. You've already learned about uh, particles and atoms and how those two intertwine. But today we're going to be talking about molar mass, a more practical way of measuring moles. So let's uh, let's do a little thought experiment. Let's say you're a superhero, and uh, one day uh, your arch nemesis shows up outside of your secret lair, your secret lab. You have all this scientific equipment there, um, uh, and he says to you, or she says to you. Um, here, I have a uh, bomb, and that bomb uh, has um, a timer on it, a little code on it, and you need to figure out how many uh, marbles are inside of a, um, a big container uh, because you have a big box of marbles, right? And those marbles, hundreds, if not thousands of marbles inside of this box, and they say, it, that bomb's going to explode if you don't tell me exactly how many marbles are inside of this box. Now I know, bear with me, it'll make sense in a little bit. So you have this box full of hundreds of thousands of marbles. You have this, this ticking time bomb. You only have five minutes on that clock, right? And you have to put in your little passcode, which is the number of marbles inside of this box. And you go, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to count all of these marbles in five minutes. But then you think to yourself and you realize that all of the marbles inside of the box, all the marbles inside of the box are exactly the same. And so you think to yourself, so you bring this in and you bring it to uh, your scale and you take out one of the marbles and you put that one marble on top of your balance and you see that one marble is equal to uh, 1.5 grams, okay? And then you weigh, you weigh the all of the marbles on a bigger scale and you see that all of the marbles on that bigger scale weigh 15 thousand uh 15, 000, uh grams right there right and so you're like oh my gosh uh what am, what is what's going to happen how many marbles are there i only have a couple more minutes left uh so you realize that that's how much the marbles weigh you weighed the box you subtracted that out you have fifteen thousand grams so then you do a quick calculation right you take your fifteen thousand grams of the total marbles you know that each marble weighs 1.5 grams and then you end up calculating that you must have 10,000 marbles in order to get that 1.5 uh, grams times 10,000 gives you 15,000 grams. And you type that in, you type that into your thing, one, zero, 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 doot, 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 and the bomb diffuses and you save the day and everybody's happy. Okay, so what you just did right here in this little thought experiment is the same thing that we do with molar mass. What you just did is you counted something that is very difficult to count because there's so many of these little marbles here. It's going to be really difficult to count. Uh, and you counted it by massing it. You counted it by taking its mass. And it's the same thing with atoms and molecules because even the smallest amount of atoms and molecules that you can visually see, you can visually represent, represents uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, if not trillions or billions of particles and atoms. So huge amounts. Okay, so what people have done is they have figured out how much each atom and how much each molecule weighs. And that is called the molar mass. What the molar mass is, the molar mass is a unit that you can use to count all of these incredibly tiny, itty bitty, teeny things uh, by taking the mass of all of them and then dividing it by the molar mass. Because what the molar mass is, is the mass in grams of one mole of material. Okay, so in other words, uh, the molar mass is measured in the following units. The molar mass is measured in grams per mole. Or you can rewrite this as x grams per mole, or you can rewrite this as x grams is equal to one mole. This is how much one mole is equal to. And now we have a nice conversion factor, just like the conversion factors that you've already learned, where six times 10 to the 23rd is equal to one mole. Now we have the molar mass, okay? But how do we figure out what this x is? Well, simple. We uh, use the periodic table because when we learned about the atomic mass, the atomic mass and the molar mass are the same thing, the same number, just with different units. So let's say uh, an example, right? Let's say, um, what is the molar mass of sodium, okay? So what is the molar mass of sodium? Well, all you have to do is 
scroll down to your periodic table or open up a periodic table and you look at the periodic table here and you see that the um, sodium right here has a mass of uh, 22.9 and that is uh, in atomic mass units when you're talking about a single atom but when you're talking about one mole of that atoms that's how much one mole, mole weighs so really what we have here is that one mole of sodium is equal to 22.9. I can just round that because it's pretty close to 23, 23 grams of sodium. All right, and that's how easy uh, molar mass is. I can figure out what the molar mass is, for example, of um, sulfur, right? So what is the molar mass of sulfur? Well, we go over here and we look up sulfur on the periodic table, it's over here, and we see that sulfur has a molar mass of about 32. And so what that means is that sulfur has a molar mass of 32 grams per mole, or 32 grams of sulfur is equal to one mole of sulfur. Okay, we can even do the same thing with molecules now. Molecules are a little bit different uh, because they're made up of combinations of different atoms, but we can figure out, for example, what is the molar mass of water? Well, the first thing you need to know is you need to know the molecular formula of water. The molecular formula of water, as most of you know, is H2O, right? And so what you have here is you have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen, right? So we're going to want to take an atom inventory here. We have two uh, hydrogens and we have one oxygen. And now all you have to do is look up the mass of each individual uh, atom in that molecule, right? So we go to hydrogen, we go down to our periodic table, and we look up hydrogen, and the atomic mass of hydrogen is just about one. And so we have two hydrogens, and each hydrogen weighs one. So that gives us a mass of two for both of my hydrogens. All right, and then we look up the uh, molar mass of oxygen. Molar mass of oxygen is almost exactly 16. And so we have one oxygen times 16. That means that the oxygen in that molecule weighs 16. And so you end up getting 18 uh, grams per mole by adding up the mass of all of your hydrogens and adding the mass of all of your oxygens. It's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. And now we also have new equations and so we can convert from one thing to another. So uh, what we know now is uh, right here, I'll do this for water. So 18 grams of water is equal to one mole of water, okay? So we can do some conversions with these. I'm going to keep these in my mind. I'm going to do sodium, sulfur, and water. And we can now do conversions uh, by going from moles to, uh, to uh, grams. And then you've also learned in a previous unit, you've learned how to go uh, from moles to uh, atoms or molecules previously. Okay, so for example, uh, I can ask you a question like this. Let's say I have uh, tw 46 grams of sodium, and how many moles is that? Okay, so we now know from earlier in the uh, unit that X grams is equal to one mole, and we also did the conversion that one mole of sodium is equal to 23 grams of sodium. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with what we're given, and we can go from uh, grams to moles in one step. Uh, because we have an equation for that. We have that equation, which is 23 grams of sodium is equal to one mole of sodium. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what I'm given. I'm given 46 grams of sodium. So I take 46 grams of sodium and I put it over one. Okay. Now I do my pathway across the top, right? I have moles of sodium that I'm converting it into. So that goes on the top. I need to get rid of my grams of sodium. I need to get rid of my grams of sodium. So I'm going to do that by putting grams of sodium on the bottom. I need to make sure that I have an equation that I can go from moles to grams and vice versa. And I do have an equation that I can go from moles to grams and vice versa. So now I'm going to fill in my numbers. I have 23 grams is equal to one mole. 
all right? And I double check right here. Do my grams cancel out? Yep, my grams are gonna cancel. They're gonna go bye-bye. Um, that leaves me with my moles of sodium. Moles of sodium is what I'm looking for. Moles of sodium is what I'm looking for. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna multiply across the top. 46 times one, that gives me 46. And I'm going to multiply across the bottom. 23 times 1 gives me 23. And then I just simplify 46 divided by 23. Well, that gives me 2. And then my units that are left over are 2 moles of sodium. And so that's how you do conversions with the molar mass. That's how you find the molar mass. Uh, we can go the other way as well. Let's say I have uh, 3 uh, moles of water. and I wanna to go to grams, all right? We already know that we can go from moles to grams and we can go from grams to moles. So we're gonna go from moles to grams this time, okay? We have our equation that we already solved over here for the molar mass of water. We know that 18 grams of water is equal to one mole of water. We know that by that equation that we did. So we have 18, right? 18 grams of water is equal to one mole of water. There's my conversion factor. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with what I'm given. I'm given three moles of water over one. I'm converting moles of water into grams of water. So I'm gonna put grams of water on the top. That means that my moles of water needs to go on the bottom because I want them to cancel out. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the numbers from my equation. I have 18 grams that's gonna go on the top. I have one mole that's gonna go on the bottom. I double check, I make sure that my uh, moles cancel and uh, my moles are on the top and my moles are on the bottom, so they are gonna cancel. I make sure that I'm left with what I'm looking for. And uh, when I do that, I see that um, my grams of water are on top, so it's exactly how I want it to be. I double check, does 18 grams equal one mole? Yes, it does. And then I multiply across the top, I multiply across the bottom. I'm gonna get one as my denominator. My numerator, I have three times 18, which gives me 54. And uh, 54 divided by one gives me 54. And then my units are what's left over, so I have 54 grams of water. All right, and so you can also do two-step equations, for example. Uh, in the next one, let's say I have uh, 64 grams of sodium. How many atoms is that? Okay, so once again, I can go from grams to moles because we've already learned that, grams to moles. And then in a previous lesson, you learned how to go from moles to atoms. So I'm gonna have uh, two steps this time instead of one. Uh, my mo molecules, my um, equation for grams to moles, uh, I have 32 grams of sulfur is equal to one mole of sulfur. And then we also know from the previous lecture that one mole of anything, including sulfur, is always equal to six times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with what I'm given. I'm given 64 grams of sulfur. I'm gonna put that on top. I'm gonna to do my first conversion. I'm gonna turn grams into moles. I'm gonna turn grams of sulfur into moles of sulfur. On the bottom, that means I need grams of sulfur because I want the grams to cancel out. I have an equation. I have an equation that takes me from grams to moles, so I'm gonna fill those in. I have one mole on the top. I have 32 grams on the bottom, all right? And so that means that my sulfur will cancel. My grams of sulfur will cancel. Now I'm at moles of sulfur. But I wasn't asked about moles of sulfur. I was asked about atoms of sulfur. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my next step over here. I have atoms of sulfur on the top, and I have moles of sulfur on the bottom. And that's my second equation right here that I'm gonna do in pink. One mole of sulfur is equal to 6.2 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sulfur. And so I'm going to uh, plug in those things. One mole goes on the bottom, six times 10 to the 23rd goes across the top. And I'm going to multiply across the top. I have 64 uh, times six times 10 to the 23rd. And so I'm gonna plug that in. I'm gonna multiply that across the top, use parentheses. 64 times 
uh, 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Across the bottom, I just have 32. I plug that into my calculator or I realize that I can reduce that 64 to 2. And when I plug that into my calculator, I end up getting 1.2 times 10 to the 24th. And what I'm left with after I make sure that all my units cancel out, moles cancel out, moles cancel out, I'm left with atoms of sulfur. And so my answer is going to be in atoms of sulfur. Okay. Once again, it takes practice. You can't expect to be good at this right away, but with practice, it'll start coming easier to you and you'll find yourself making less and less mistakes as uh, you improve and as you um, learn from your mistakes. So uh, that's how we convert from grams to moles, from moles to grams, uh, and even we can take it one step further and convert uh, grams to atoms or atoms to grams. All right, to convert atoms to grams, you just do the same process, but in reverse. All right, um, let me know if you have a question by commenting or letting any of your teachers know in class. Once again, the molar mass is the grams of one mole of material. It's a way of counting atoms since they're so very, very, very small. And what you do is you look up the atomic mass on the periodic table, and instead of having that be in units of atomic mass units, you're using it in units of grams. And so you get X grams is equal to one mole. It's always one mole. You always bring it to moles first. All right, so have a great one, Pirates, and I'll talk to you soon.